It took over two years to infiltrate these leftist organizations. Go away. Look at these are high school kids out here. These are high school kids. He has the most comprehensive plan to redesign, redesign what is broken in our nation. You say it has to be my way or the highway. I don't respond to that. You're supposed to listen to us. That's your job. How old are you? How old I'm are 16. You? I well, can't You didn't vote. vote for me. They are a well-funded, tactically trained, highly organized, global subversive movement. No, this is my first time ever protesting. Wow, how do you feel? I'm very nervous um, mm -hmm. because I'm in the high-risk group for resisting arrest, or uh, risking arrest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so I'm pretty nervous, but this is a super important cause, so I'm excited. Two minors are going to get arrested. Their parents will be in D.C. Our lawyer is down to support. Not cooperating with Capitol Police is also a charge. And so there were three banner drops, and the middle group got arrested, and the two side groups didn't. Because the two side groups, when the cops came by and said, you can't do this, they said, OK, so sorry, pulled up the banners. The top group said, no, we're staying. And so they just stayed. And it's like, if they had said, oh, so sorry, they wouldn't have gotten arrested. We turn people on the streets and confront the whole city because we can, young people in Boston, can shut down the whole city. If I have a thousand young people, I can shut down four or five highways and this city is in shackles. That's just the truth. Because momentum has been like foundational for us at Sunrise. So no big deal, you know, just realized we needed to take over the entire United States <laughs> and all the institutions in it. Um, so uh, we're gonna fast forward to when Sunrise launched. Over the past few months, momentum has grown for what I call a global Green New Deal. Yes, I'm now joined by Michael Dorsey. He's an expert on global governance and sustainability, who also spent time working in the Obama administration on environmental issues. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure, Jessica. Um, so the parties are meeting in Bangkok. That aims to destroy the United States. Who are some of like the major individual donors as well as foundations. That C3 like funders to date have been folks like Hewlett Foundation, Bullet Foundation, um, the C4 Arm, um, Open Society Foundation, um, and then as individuals, our largest like in, like personal gift to date has been um, Chris Hughes. Okay. We are gonna run one of the largest, most impactful youth climate electoral interventions this country has ever seen. An activated sunrise uh, revolution that's taking place across this country. Is Sunrise here? Hi. Hey, oh my God. It's Sunrise, phenomenal. I made sure you had a seat up in the gallery when President Trump was uh, given his State of the Union address. My name is Barshini and I am Sunrise's executive director. Um, I am really glad to see almost 600 of you on this call. So we're here today because black communities are rising up in Minneapolis and around the country in resistance. Um, and what we know is that uprisings, including including actions like burning buildings, um, are legitimate and powerful forms of resistance um, and are resisting brutal and violent and dehumanizing systems. The government has not cared about us for a single day of our entire goddamn lives. We know this to be true. They have failed us at every step. I love the term siege because I feel like that's exactly what we're going to do. And I all encourage you to go read the Wikipedia page for what a siege is because have that expectation that they will see us, they will feel us, and they will hear us until they are deaf with our demands. Rome was not built in the day and it was also not sieged in the day. And what does this mean? This means that we need a different tactic to target our politicians in this urgent time. Our leaders are sleeping through this crisis and we can't occupy their offices, so we have to bring the crisis to their doorsteps. We will march into their homes at midnight and make it plain and simple for them. and some upcoming things. So tomorrow morning, very exciting, we are going to Senator Lindsey Graham's house. 
um, at 6 a.m. We'll be there from 6 to 8 with Sunrise DC. Not confrontational. There's a real power dynamic that looks like the cops are oppressing the people who are sitting lower than us. Yep. Right? They're sitting down. And when we want to hold a lot of space for a long time, what do we do? We use chains. We light the barns. We use sofas. We use heavy chairs. We use whatever we can. Right? And this goes to the question somebody asked in the chat of what is direct action. We're asking you to take action maybe like you've never taken before. Uh, what we've seen over the last four years is it's not enough to march. It's not enough to go to a one day event and then go home. We need sustained uh, disruptive action. We need an end to business as usual. We need to let the people in power know, not just politicians, but also corporations, the military, et cetera, the powers that be that um, they're not going to go back to business as usual um, ever, really, but especially until we get Trump out of office. And so our call to action here in D.C., uh, I expect we're going to be planning plenty of events uh, before November 3rd, as we have in the last few months. But um, one of our focuses is going to be on November 3rd, we're asking folks after they vote here in DC or in the uh, DMV area to come to Black Lives Matter Plaza by the White House um, to gather and to show in huge numbers that we are not going to accept a, a result of the election where Trump stays in office. This is an opportunity where, where we found the weirdos who are coming to like go figure out how to throw down in the streets. They all came to the plaza together. All right? Free the people, fight the power, fuck the police. Abolition. Free the people, fight the power, fuck the police. Abolition. Um, my pronouns are he, they. I am a uh, member of Extinction Rebellion Chicago. Um, there is an, a pretty active XRDC that I know has worked with shutdown. DC before and was very involved in the, the thing that they talked about at the front. So I'm sure that chapter is probably very active. And yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I suspect a significant number of, of folks from Chicago might go to DC, but we're also talking about going to Wisconsin, which we think is going to be a pretty important. Hello. 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 Hi, I'm, what's your name? My name's Colin, AUC Home Pronouns, um, based here in Washington, D.C. Actually helped co-found Shutdown D.C. last summer. Um, did quite a bit of the J20 stuff, actually, after Trump got elected oh, yeah. and was the co-founder there. And then yeah, was- I remember uh, J20. <laughs> have started, yeah, 350 D.C. is a lot of the current organizing, so. You talk about the two camps, and that was really the secret to the success of Paris, was that you had China leading the developing countries and the U.S. leading the developed countries to the table. Now we don't have the U.S. as part of this deal anymore. Mobilization of young people was the strongest element to force politicians to understand that things have to change. Because your activism and concern can mobilize all of society. And where society goes, politicians and negotiators will have to follow. And so my request to all of you is very clear. Keep up the pressure. Don't give up. Do not relent. Let the world know that you are watching and that you are acting. And it's all coming out before Election Day. Coming soon. Hashtag Sunrise Exposed.